though from the previous games, knew how to hold advantage on Razzle, as we know, pretty much just knows neutral. He just understands it to a T. And so it'll be interesting to see the dynamic of this matchup. Especially considering this is a heavy ditto, essentially. Well, not a traditional ditto, but classification. Regardless, we're heading in. This is game one. Route 209, good song choice. Anyway, let's get started. Seva trying to keep Russell away with the fire breath. Both of them going on the offensive. Um, Seva just trying to zone him out a little bit more, trying to reflect the borders, which makes sense, and get that damage here, that dash attack follow up in addition to the um, flame damage. Regardless, it seems that Seva seems to be controlling neutral here, and as we know, Seva has an absolutely devastating advantage state. So I wouldn't be surprised if. Um, if Frazzle can't at least hold ledge here, he's probably going to lose his target. Because Flurkling tries to mix up his recovery timing, it pays off, gets a bit of damage. And now Razzle just taking his time trying to slow things down once again. Gets the snipe with the auto. You like to see it. Oh, and the stage spike. Amazing stuff coming out from Seva, but Razzle just unprepared for that. And we'll see if Razzle can bring this back. But again, Seva just knows neutral and understands his character's advantage really well. So Razzle, this will probably be an uphill battle unless he can close out the stuff with a surprise setup. Okay, recatching the auto to hit him with it once again. Not something we've seen just yet. Oh, this could be bad. Ooh, gets the parry, but doesn't matter. Razzle's still sealing out that stuff. And I will see if uh, Seva gets the whiff punish. Doesn't quite manage to, but still manages to find a bear. Might just be fishing for bears now just to like close out the stuff, but it doesn't matter because Razzle just whiff punishes and does a 53% conversion. Again, DDD a heavy hitter, but the issue is his disadvantage and Seva, as we know, knows how to handle that. We'll see if Razzle can uh, get off ledge. Okay, I like that. Razzle mixes up his options, goes for the nair, goes for the fair. Manages to get back on stage, but it's tossed back up once again. And this... How do you get off the ledge against Rhythm? Ledge trapping is definitely one of Rhythm's strongest suits, and the nair to Gordo gonna almost seal out Razzle's stuff, and yeah, Seba in advantage, Ridley in advantage in general, a very scary thing. Okay. A beat a ledge and Razzle just gonna try and go a bit aggressive. It's working out. Has a lot of pressure going on right now. And yep, Razzle has seemed to uh, recontrol neutral. And as we know, Ridley's disadvantage is pretty bad, so Razzle is gonna seek to capitalize on that. tries to catch him out with maybe a cheesy up air, but that ledge invincibility is going to expire fast when you have that much damage, and Razzle is going to bring this back to essentially an even game. Ooh, they tell the world with a space pirate rush. But Razzle, tacking on a fair amount of damage in his own regard, we'll see if he can bring this back. Seba, the first on the trigger with an up smash. Mm, tries to catch an, uh, an aggressive option, an aggressive, an aggressive drift, should I say, from Seba. Um, almost catches it, but Seba just backing away a bit, trying to slow things down, because again, you got that last hit, last arc. You gotta dial it back, you gotta think, okay, what read am I gonna make sometimes? Okay, tries to make a big play, doesn't pay off, gets tapped on with the Gordo, and being in disadvantage like this can be pretty bad. Okay, the surprise there. It works, I guess. And Seba, looking to actually close out this stock now. I mean, 134 to 117. I think Seba's gonna be maybe looking for that space pirate rush because Razzle starting to shield a bit more, but it could be a bait. We don't even know. Again, that's part of the beauty of Smash. You don't even know if your opponent's trying to bait you out or not, but Razzle gonna catch out Seba in disadvantage at 152. Good stuff to win. 
and that is game one going to Razzle. Oh, oh, this is the wrong Brin start. Guys, cancel it. This is the wrong Brin start. Guys, this... <laughs> Servers picked the wrong Brin start. He thought it was Brin start Depths. Okay, so Brin start Depths and Brin start are two separate stages. Um, they have the same, you know, part of their name, but this absolutely is not the stage. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to... I don't think Server knows. He... <laughs> so he's gonna have to uh, SD. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the wrong Brin star. So, um... I'm just gonna let them know in chat. Okay, so Seba still intending to head to Brinstar, to not Brinstar, Brinstar, but just selects the wrong Brinstar uh, accidentally. I mean, it happens, I guess, when they have very similar names. Be like that sometimes. And we'll be seeing the actual Brinstar come through uh, any second now. So, I mean, now we know that Seba wants to head to Brinstar. Um, he, he's committed to cheesing him out. Like, you do not pick Brinstar unless you absolutely just want to delete um, projectiles, in my opinion. Played on that stage a fair amount, and I can say that projectiles have no place on this stage, especially if you're using a heavy. So, auto usage is probably going to be quite limited here. Okay, so, let's see. A good start. Again, racking up tons of damage. Again, Sharking, as we saw in um, our first match, has a bit of a presence on the stage and it can impact um, a few things. So we'll see what Seba has to offer here. Maybe up air sharks or up B sharks? We'll have to see. Oh, Seba gets the tech on the eggshells. You'd love to see it. Seba almost dead. Any kind of hit will definitely kill him now, but really at max rage, F smash will kill on this stage at this percentage. Just like that, Seba stuck just evaporated. Gets the dash attack. Almost gets the snipe of the flame breath, but Razzle's gonna live. <laughs> the space pirate rush. Gonna go over the curves. Get that extra damage. Okay, tries to get a conversion, tries to get an air drop free, doesn't pay off. In this stage, you just gotta slug it out, like there's no room for... I mean, there's room for reads, but not a lot, especially when the layout is so bizarre, so... You just gotta make the most of what you got, and you just gotta play it out. Catch them with a bear. Dies at 130, I believe? 128, so... Yeah, that that's the dynamic of this set. It's all about going in, it's all about that aggression. And charging flame breath is extremely risky on this stage. Oh, see nice reads coming out. Oh, tries to catch a jump, doesn't quite land it. But he kind of knows what Ravel what Razzle, sorry, must go for now. Seba has a fair amount of damage. We'll see if he can still pull through, but the, the dash attack reads catching the shark. Again, the sharks are amazing on this stage, but if you're red, you are dead, pretty much. So the F-tilt is coming through. 
goes for the inhale, tries to catch Seba's approach, not working out. Again, Seba can close the stock quite early if he gets a read here. Doesn't go for the shock. He'll go for the shock now. Seba has to be ready. <laughs> okay, that maybe that was a little messed up. Um, regardless, Seba's gonna have to win neutral once again to try and uh, seal the stock on Razzle. Yeah, now this is a scary situation. If you're Seba, you really can't shock. Get the space pirate rush, and that won't kill, but the fair will. And we are here. Last stock, game two. Seba get, oh, almost gets down throw down B. I'm pretty sure that would have actually set up for a tech chase situation if he landed on the perfect spot. But um I suppose the spacing was just a bit off, but you can't be really expected to know the spacing if you're playing on Grim Star for like the first time in this kind of setting, so I'm not surprised. Anyway. Seven gets the fair. F tilt. Did he catch a shot? Nope, it's too late. If you're in disadvantage that high, then there's no converting off that. But Seba is starting to use the flame breath, which is an uh, interesting change of pace. Again, Lass will have to adapt to this. I mean, avoiding that much flame breath on such a small stage is a bit of a task. But he barely managed to pull through. If he gets the inhale, this could be bad. Whoa! What? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay, so... In their Smash GG chat, Seba said that yes, I can get the jank, but here, it looks like the table's definitely turned. <laughs> Seba being the one to get janked out there. Unfortunate. I mean, I guess that just what that, that's what happens when you pick a stage like Prince Star. I mean, you get that smaller space compared to WarioWare, but there's more of a chance for you to get janked out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, it happens sometimes, I guess. I guess we'll see uh, what stage Seba wants to head to next. Definitely can't be Brinstar after that showing. Yeesh. Regardless, um, Razzle takes game two in a, uh, a fashion, to say the least. We'll just add that to his, uh, to his score. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's Brinstar, ladies and gentlemen. You can't be too reliant on uh, those kinds of stage picks. Like, I think that if you want to pick Brinstar, you got to be a character that like has a solid recovery, that can shot, and can't get janked out too much. So characters like Ridley with Space Pirate Rush, Inkling with Roller, stages that essentially interact with curves and slopes are at a disadvantage on Brinstar. Like sure, you have closer combat space, but you are open to getting janked out, like as we saw right there. So, uh... Brinstar, baby. And Ridley, again, doesn't have access to Lilac. Good point, Blue Boy. So, um, again, Ridley, I'm pretty sure one of his best stages is Lilac. So, um, Brinstar was probably his next best bet, but it didn't really pay off there. Ready? And so, here we are. Game three. Okay, Seba, if one weird pick doesn't work out, let's try the other. Here we are. Um, Orpheon. Forget Orpheon or how. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it Frygate. Yeah, Frygate should work out. Regardless, here we are, Frygate. Uh, game 3, Seba. Holding advantage pretty well here. Maybe this was actually like the best pick all along, because again, yeah, now I'm pretty sure Razzle's dead here. Yeah. yeah, just like that. Seba catches him out with the F-Smash. And now Seba can essentially play it safe and that platform pushing Razzle in disadvantage. Gets the follow-up, so maybe Seba should have stuck with this all along, because again, those platforms are just going to be a disservice to Razzle as they push him up into disadvantage against Seba. Gets him up with the F-Smash and Seba just kind of dominating right now. Razzle just trying to find his footing, but just like that, your advantage, just as the platform is pushed down, so is your advantage state. And now Seba, oh, gets the shock. 
space pirate. Whoa! Okay. All right. That's a thing. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Um, Seba still managing to find some kind of stage jag works out for him. Up smash, not a workout. Okay, lands with an air, but again, you're up against Seba. The stage just isn't working out for you as Razzle. Like, this is the perfect counter pick against DDD, if you ask me. And now Seba. Maybe in disadvantage, but his advantage to say is just so strong on the stage, and the fact that this stage is like mechanisms, like the platform's moving, just solely works against Razzle. I genuinely think there's no coming back from this. Like, if Seven just gets back on stage, he can essentially win. Like, yeah, that's a win condition right there. Just like Inkling's up throw up there, Seven being on stage here is just a win condition in itself. Like, look, Razzle tried to spike him with an up B, but it didn't work because the platform just carried him up. And yeah, just like that, Razzle in a really bad situation, and I think it's over. Okay, no, manages to find a kill. Seba not shielding that, surprisingly. And yep, yeah, that's just gonna work against you, Razzle. Razzle surprisingly managing to live as Seba doesn't shield the entirety of that hitbox. But on a stage like this, I I don't if Seba loses this now, I will be surprised to say the least because this stage is absolutely working in his favor all the cards are in his favor if razzle pulls this back he is legendary okay gets the reflect with the gordo this is really bad seba doesn't really have to push advantage here because again the stage just works against him if he just gets an up air right now i'll commit but it doesn't matter the space pirate rush not going to kill because frygate now working against seba but this could be big razzle now at 163 Oh no, Seba, really? No, don't die, don't die to that. No, Seba! <laughs> no, why would you, ah, oh, okay. All right, I guess. Seba, the game was in your hands and you threw it all away. That is, that was a hard throw if you ask me. Um, Razzle, I don't even, I don't even know if you can describe that as coming in clutch because that was just Seba messing up. But either way, Seba, Finishing at a respectable um, third place, and now we gotta move on to grand finals, I guess. So um, let me just key that in. That's 3 0 on Razzle's part. And Fraggate Orpheon, I think, is definitely.